Meet John. He's 65 years old, and boy, does he live a fulfilling life. John is retired now, but he used to be a math teacher at a middle school. Over the past few years, John and his wife, Nancy, have been traveling the world together. They actually just came back from a vacation in Egypt, where they just visited the pyramids. A few days ago on vacation, John started experiencing pain on the left side of his stomach. Today, when he woke up, John noticed that there was a rash in the shape of a band in the exact same area where he was experiencing pain. Later that morning, his wife looked at the rash and started persuading John to go to the hospital. John is usually reluctant to visit the hospital because he's not a huge fan of doctors. John was not listening to Nancy and she continued to get angrier and angrier with John's stubbornness. John finally agreed to go to the hospital after Nancy's nagging. At the hospital, it was John's turn to be visited by the doctor. Upon taking a closer look at John's distinctive band-shaped rash, the doctor was almost certain that John was suffering from shingles. The doctor also discovered that John was feeling pain in the area of the rash before it appeared and concluded that he had shingles. This phase where pain is felt before the rash actually appears is called the prodromal stage and is a common symptom of shingles. John then asked the doctor what shingles was. The doctor then walked over to the whiteboard so he could use it in the explanation of what shingles was. Shingles, also known as herpes zoster, is a painful rash that occurs in a distinct pattern on one side of the body. Once the rash appears, it progresses through stages. Starting as macules and papules, which are portion of discolored skin and pimples, then it progresses over 7 to 10 days to form pustules and crust. Pustules are essentially pus-filled pimples, and crust is when the pimples become dried out and form scabs. Shingles occur due to the varicella zoster virus. The varicella zoster virus is the same virus that causes chickenpox. The difference between chickenpox and shingles is that chickenpox occurs due to an initial infection of the varicella virus, usually occurring at a younger age, while shingles occurs at an older age due to reactivation of this virus. This means that you cannot get shingles unless you previously had chickenpox. When you recover from chickenpox, what happens is that your immune system destroys the virus. However, some virus from the chickenpox infection remains dormant in the body, meaning the virus is inactive. The inactive virus resides in the sensory nerves and this inactivation is facilitated by our immune system. Shingles occur because this inactive virus becomes active again, usually due to the weakening of the immune system with age. The risk of getting shingles is also higher in individuals that are immunocompromised, meaning people with deficiency in their immune system. After the virus becomes active again, it travels along the fibers of nerves to cause vesicular lesions, which is really just a complicated way of saying blisters on the skin. The distinctive band-shaped pattern associated with shingles happens because the specific sensory nerve where the virus is replicating supplies a specific portion of skin. The virus travels to this portion of skin and replicates here, creating a distinctive rash. One study found that every year, 0.1 to 0.3% of individuals below the age of 65 contract shingles. However, over the age of 65, those numbers increased to 0.4 to 1.2% of individuals. Another study mentioned that 50% of shingles cases occur in adults over the age of 65. John then asks the doctor if there are any other complications associated with shingles. The most common complication associated with shingles is post-herpetic neuralgia. This is when there is a sensation of burning pain even after the physical rash clears up. This is caused by damage to the sensory nerves in the area that was affected by the shingles flare-up. Sometimes the pain can last for a few months, but for some people, it may even last for a few years. At this point, John is starting to get worried and is wondering what he's going to do. He voices his concerns to the doctor, but he's relieved to get some good news back. We can give you some antiviral drugs which will target the varicella zoster virus. This will reduce the pain, assist to heal the rash faster, and shorten the outbreak duration. This will hopefully also reduce progression to post neuralgia. Hopefully, after the rash heals, you don't suffer from post neuralgia because then it will be complicated. If it gets to that stage, we're going to have to explore what works for you, including directly applying treatments to the skin and tricyclic antidepressants. Your wife is also at risk of getting shingles due to her older age. She should get vaccinated with Zostavax. Zostavax is a vaccine that helps prevent you from getting shingles. It gives a dose of weakened varicella zoster virus which helps promote your body to provide a defense against a shingles outbreak. 
After hearing about the vaccine, John will make sure he tells Nancy to get it. Today, John learned a valuable lesson at the doctor's office. Now he has realized that there are some complications with aging, and he needs to be more aware and careful about his health. Thank you for watching, and for more information about shingles, please visit www.cdc.gov shingles.